First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the Kakadash, and double honors to the elders of great millstone while I learned this truth, and also to the whole elect that scout of Bra. I'd like to say Shalom. And coming back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the lesson is, They Are Not All Israel. I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of rights and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, now deal about it, we're waiting on that great deliverance. And now deal about it, we're waiting for the Lord to come back and put us back in our first estate. Uh, dominion, rulership, spiritual power, uh, uh, immortality. That's what we're waiting on. And now deal about it, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. And the only one that has obtained it is the, is the elect. The one that was preordained to get this from the beginning. And I deal about it is that, you know, we're staying loyal to him. We're constantly doing his will each and every day. And I deal about it. Not all of Israel will get it this time around on the first resurrection. The only one we get it this time around is the first fruit. And I deal about it is that the one that, that was with him from the beginning. And I deal about it, that is the elect. And I deal about it is that, you know, we cannot wait. We're constantly rejoicing, you know, waiting to be delivered. We're seeing all these Bible prophecies are coming to life. We, uh, we're seeing that the end is being manifest each and every day. We're seeing all these things are going on around us. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is putting all the chess pieces together. And I deal about it is that it, it's, it's coming together just like clockwork. And I deal about it is that we're seeing, you know, the Lord is constantly, the Spirit of the Lord is constantly moving through the earth. And I deal about it is that, you know, His word is, His word is not returning to Him void. So that I deal about it, we're constantly rejoicing. And I deal about it is that, you know, say, that the Israel of the Most High, He's getting ready to return and put us back to our rightful place and I do about the title of the day lesson once again is they are not all Israel so we get started with a quick precept let's go to uh, uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14 then we'll open up the lesson Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14 one moment <clears throat> one moment one moment one moment get the tablet up one moment Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. And it reads, For many are called, but few are chosen. So you have a lot of people that's uh in this uh in this truth, but the idea about only a few is chosen. The idea about they are the elect. The idea about if you know father will draw them. You know what I'm saying? You know, you cannot choose him, he will choose you. And the idea about is that you know the elect is, is the ones that are signed and crying, uh making these video, you know, each and every day, constantly laboring. You know what I'm saying? Doing things that's pleasing to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I deal about it is that, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're constantly standing boldly in the face of our oppressor and also our enemies. Also the two-third, the one that is scoffing and mocked. We're going to constantly do the will of the Lord all the way to the end. We, we're going to finish. We're running this race. And I deal about it is that, you know, he said through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So we're being perfected through the fire. And I deal about it, each and every day, the Lord is constantly uh, 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 shifting out the ones that he want. The one that he do want is the elect, you know what I'm saying? The, the few, you know, so the idea about it is that, you know, so many is, many are called, but few are chosen. Also, you know, is that a world to come is, 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 is for a few, you know what I'm saying? This world here is for a many. So the idea about it is that, you know, the elect, we're walking the straight gate each and every day. And the idea about it is that, you know, we're, we're seeing all these things are manifest right before our eyes. We're seeing all these uh, 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 Bible prophets are coming to life left and right. And we're constantly uh, uh, going to uh, uh, walk in, in the path of righteousness each and every day. And we're going to constantly uh, 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 do things that's, that, that, that is uh, 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 it's upright in Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, holy name that we're gonna keep doing it each and every day, you know. And and I deal about it. we cannot wait, you know. We ask the Lord for strength each and every day, we ask Him for mercy, you know. We ask Him for you know to give us more faith, you know what I'm saying, to help us give us the understanding, you know what I'm saying, each and every day because we are waiting to get out of this place, we are ready to go. So now we are uh, we'll open up the lesson, quick lesson through the spirit. Let's go to Romans chapter, Romans chapter 9, Romans chapter 9, and we'll start up. At verse 6 Romans chapter 9 and verse 6 And it reads Not not as though the word of the Most High Has taken none effect For there are not all Israel Which are of Israel So the idea about it is that the Lord Is only coming back for one part of Israel Right now, the one third The elect, the house of David And the idea about it is that 
all of us is, is you know is not on the same uh, page and idol battles is the only one that, that that's meant to get this truth this time around is the chosen and idol battle the two-third will be cut off and die so now let's start back up at romans chapter 9 and verse uh, 7 neither because they are the seed of abraham are they all children children but in isaac shall thy seed be called verse 8 that is they which are the children of the flesh they are they are not the children of the most high but the children of the promise are counted for the seed so that little body you know our forefather abraham isaac and jacob and i little body that that is that holy seed and i little body that that's what he's coming back for that great remnant you know what i'm saying that 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 that, that precious elk and i little body you know we're more finer than than precious gold and i little body that you know the lord said that you know he will help us and he will deliver us so that little body all we must do is constantly follow through you know walk by faith not by sight each and every day so now let's uh let's go to ephesians a little bit more on that. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. One moment. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. And we'll start up at verse 4. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. And it reads, According as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Verse 5. Having pre predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Masiach to himself according to the good pleasures of his will. Verse 6, to praise of the glory of his grace wherein he has made us ex accepted in, in the beloved. So that little badge that, you know, the grace and mercy each and every day. How are we getting this grace and mercy through this word? Constantly doing his will. We constantly are, are laboring. We constantly are spreading his truth, you know, through the uh, YouTube, uh, uh, the highways and byways. You know, we're constantly uh, toiling and laboring. And that little body, he know the, the ones that was going to do his will because we had this once before. And that little body, you know, it was a great falling away. But that little body, the dry bones have, has, has, are standing up on their feet now. So that little body, the spirit of the Lord is upon the elect. And that little body is that, you know, we'll stand on fire and our, and our, our candles are lit each and every day. And that little body is that, you know, is, you know, we're truly blessed to see and we're truly blessed to hear. And I did about, and also understand, he said, my sheep hear my voice and follow me. That is the elect, the one that was preordained to get it from the beginning. So that is about all of Israel is not, uh, uh, not, not all of Israel is of Israel. What I'm trying to say, I'm hoping I said that right. And I did about is that, you know what I'm saying? You know, the one third is the only ones that he's coming back for this time. Not all of Israel, not this time around. And I did about is that, you know, we are the one that repented over 2,000 years ago. We are, we, we are the one that's picking up the cross and following Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So now, let's go to, uh, let's go to Romans. Romans chapter 8. <clears throat> one moment. Romans chapter 8. One moment. Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, and it reads, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So that is about the ones that are prophesied, the ones that can break these scriptures down, the one that has that understanding. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the style building of the time. It bear witness to who we are. We are the children of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, the elect. You know what I'm saying? The house of David. And I do about is that, you know what I'm saying, each and every day that, you know what I'm saying, um, you can tell that that a, a man of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, by, by the spirit. And I do about it. it's not how he looked. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's by the spirit. And I did about it. You know, you, you're seeing each and every day, you know, peoples all across the world might look like other nations, but they're constantly, you know, can speak the or oracles of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And I did about it is that, you know what I'm saying? It was, only, it's, it was only meant for a few. And that few is the elect. So now we'll start back up. Let's go. Let's drop down to uh, Romans chapter 8. We'll drop down to verse, we'll drop down to verse 28. And it reads, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are, are the call according to his purpose. Verse 29, for whom he did foreknew, he also did pre, pre, preordain 
to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the first fruit among many brethren. Verse 30, moreover, whom he did pre predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. So that is about is that, you know, the Lord, is, you know, he, 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 he only called a few. And that is about this time around, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the, the house of David, uh, the, the 144 mighty men, and also the believers. So that is about is that, you know what I'm saying? The spirit bear witness to who we are. And that is about, you know, we are prophesying. We're constantly doing these lessons. We're constantly uh, 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 in the highways and byways doing everything. We're constantly laboring. We're constantly meditating day and night. Uh, in this great wisdom and, I, and we also know the true names of the heavenly father which in fact the father's name is Yahweh, the great king that sits on the throne and, the, and, our, and our lord and savior and our great deliverer is Yahweh. he's getting ready to return and put things back into order so we are rejoicing so now let's go to uh <clears throat> let's go to ezekiel chapter 37 ezekiel chapter 37 one moment ezekiel chapter 37 one moment <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 37 and we'll start up one moment. We'll start up at verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 37 and we'll start up at verse 1. And it reads, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in, in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Verse 2, And caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry that means that you know we right then the lord put us to sleep we didn't have the spirit at that particular time we had went off and that little body we at, at that particular time we were just like what you call like uh a gentile you know what i'm saying went into the ways of the gentile now we'll continue to, to uh to read and uh ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 3 and it reads and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answer O Lord, O Lord, power, thou knowest. Verse 4, again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bone, hear the words of the Lord. Verse 5, thus said the Most High unto these bones, behold, I, I will cause breath to enter unto you, and ye shall live. So right now, the breath, that breath is the Holy Spirit. It's upon us each and every day. And we're standing on our feet and we're standing on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We knowing who we are. We know that we sin against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I deal about it that he is a hell wicked enough through his grace and mercy. And I deal about it you know we are chosen. We was preordained. We foreknew this. And I deal about it, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We had sinned against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The great falling away has happened. But now, you know what I'm saying? We're standing on our feet. Feet now, and I do about is that you know the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth, left and right. The dry bones has awakened, and I do about we knowing that we are the house of David, and I do about we're gonna constantly do His will each and every day. So now we'll drop down, uh, the Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. We'll drop down in verse nine. Then said he unto me, prophesied unto the wind, prophesied son of man, and say to the wind. Thus said the Most High, Come from the four winds, O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came unto, unto them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceedingly great army, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. So right now, we are standing on our feet and I know about the spirit of the Lord is constantly moving, constantly working. You know what I'm saying? It's constantly metaphetic. A manifest each and every day. So lucky. And that little bad is that you seeing all these things that's going on. You know, people are prophesizing. People are having dreams. People are, are having a sense that the end is coming. Uh, people are having a sense that our Lord and Savior is returning. Because that's the spirit of the Lord. And I deal about it. We knowing who we are. The 12 tribes are waking up. And I deal about it. That means the house of David. You know, the one. The, the, the one third and also the, the 144 mighty men they're standing up tall and I deal about it you know breath is in us now and I deal about that Holy Spirit you know is keeping us on fire and I deal about it that you know we seeing all these things that are going on around us these mandates we seeing this global reset we seeing uh the MOTB is coming in are uh, coming into play but I deal about it the Lord said that we will stand up on our feet in the last days so that I deal about it. everyone is standing in their lot right now you 
if your your lot was to be a prophet, then you you on fire right now. That breath of life is in you. So that little body is that you know we're gonna constantly put our trust in your how by Shem Yahweh Shah. So let's get a let's get another quick precept for what I just said. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter eleven and verse eleven. <clears throat> And it reads, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. And they stood up, stood up upon their feet, and a great fear fell upon them which saw them. So that little about is that, you know what I'm saying? We are standing on our feet each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think back towards the 60s, you know what I'm saying? When Abba Bibbin, when he first came on the scene, I deal about it. ever since then, the Lord, that's, you know, the, the Lord has been standing us up on our feet each and every day. And I deal about it. the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. And I deal about it is that, you know, we're constantly doing the work. And I deal about it. We're speaking the oracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I deal about it. the only one that know the song is the elect, the few that he's coming back for, the chosen. You know what I'm saying? The house of David. So that is about we're we're not worried about anything. We're gonna constantly uh, uh do the work. We're gonna constantly uh keep the faith and let the Lord strengthen us each and every day. And that we are hopefully that we are part of the hopefully elect. So now let's get us a quick precept. Let's go to uh let's go to John chapter 17. John chapter 17, one moment. John chapter 17. John chapter 17, one moment, and verse 9. John chapter 17 and verse 9. And it reads, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Verse 10, and, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. So that little body is that he was talking about the elect. You know what I'm saying? And I did about he prayed for the elect before he left here. And I did about he died for them. And I did about is that, you know what I'm saying? We're constantly uh, glorifying him. And I did about is that, you know what I'm saying? And doing his will each and every day. And hopefully that we'll be a part of that great help. And I did about is that, you know, we're seeing all these things are coming to life. Left and right. All these uh, 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 prophecies. All these uh, 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 things that's going on in the world. We're seeing everything that's going on around us. Only the elect would get it this time around. So when you see a lot of people, they, they yeah, just cannot get it. You know, they don't know what we're talking about because they're not a part of this. You know, they're not of the Israel or the Most High. And out of about he's only dealing with the government body to, the, the, that he's dealing with is the government body right now. And out of about the, the kings of the new, new the earth. You know, we are ready to rule. And out of about is that, you know what I'm saying? We cannot wait. You know what I'm saying? Out of about is that, you know, the Lord is doing a mighty work. And out of about it, he is getting ready to return. We are hastening his great and glorious return. So now, let's get one more precept and we'll close out. Let's go to uh let's go to John chapter 10. John chapter 10, one moment. John chapter 10, one moment. John chapter 10 and verse 27. One moment. John chapter 10 and verse 27. And it reads: My sheep hear my voice, and I and I know them, and they follow me. And I do about the one that he know is the elect, the one that was preordained from the beginning. And I do about it is that, you know, we hear his voice each and every day. And I do about it, we're constantly doing his will. We're following in the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I do about it is that, you know, we're constantly warning. We're constantly sounding the alarm. And I do about it, we're constantly uh, uh, putting out the song. Only the elect would know the song. And I do about it is that, you know, everyone is standing in their lot. You know, and I did about it, you know, the just will stay just and the unjust will stay unjust. And I did about it that, you know what I'm saying, wisdom and knowledge constantly flowing, you know what I'm saying? And I did about it that, you know, this this this, this gospel has been preached throughout the four cones of the earth because the elect, the few, you know, had pushed it all the way out. And I did about it, then he said the end would come. So that I did about it, we're right at the end. And I did about it, we're constantly rejoicing. And I did about it, we're not worried about anything. We're going to constantly keep the strength. We're going to constantly walk. Uh, in the spirit each and every day Constantly meditate Constantly pray Constantly watch Pray and be sober Each and every day In Yahweh By Hashem Yahweh Shah Holy name But now We'll go to our last and final strip We'll close out right here We'll go to Galatians And we'll close out Galatians chapter 6 Galatians chapter 6 And verse 16 We'll close out here <clears throat> And it reads And as many as walk according to to this rule, P 
peace be with them and mercy upon the Israel of the Most High. So that is about, you know, that's what we're looking for, peace and mercy each and every day, you know, that it be with us each and every day, that the Lord keep his Holy Spirit upon us, you know, that the Lord constantly uh, uh, direct our path, that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, constantly uh, show us things, give us that understanding each and every day, you know, and that is about, and also keep us in the secret place of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is they are not all Israel. And I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakadash, and I like to say, Shalom.